the Spider Gang, MJ here, and today we're gonna be watching Zoolander. There is not much I know about this movie. I have not even heard about this movie. I was going down the list of comedies and I seen this movie and I seen that Ben Stiller was in it. We last seen him in Tropic Thunder where he played Tuck Speedman and in my opinion, he's actually a pretty good actor and he is the main character in this movie. So that alone should say it's gonna be a good movie. But then I also seen Owen Wilson and Will Ferrell. That's perfect, like these three combined would make the perfect comedy. Again, no idea what it's about. It looks really kooky, but Ben Stiller being the main character, it's gonna keep a standard for me. <laughs> I'm scared, but it's gonna keep a standard. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to watch it and I hope you guys are excited to watch my reaction to it as well. If you do end up enjoying my reaction, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Liking the video really does help me get my channel pushed across the platform and subscribing is just because you enjoy my content. Also, if you want to see my full reaction to this movie and every other movie and show on my channel as well as get them early, <laughs> go ahead and click that Patreon link down in the description below. Full movie, music, and show reactions are there. And again, I am pointing it out one more time for the people who are not aware. I know some of you guys skip videos, so if you happen to not skip this one, I have posted on the show channel. If you haven't seen, go to the homepage on this channel, scroll all the way down, click the channel called MJ Without Movies. I have posted the first show reaction on there. So that is pretty much all I have to say. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the movie. <laughs> guys, I am sorry in advance. I'm starving. I need to eat something. He has become this small country's greatest hope for a thriving future in the new millennium. I was not expecting it to start this way. What is going on? How could you let this happen? I have negotiated my butt off, Giorgio. I've tried. That's Will Ferrell. I know his voice. For sure. 50% of my inventory is manufactured in sweatshops on the Malaysian border. Something has got to be done. Wow. But my new fall line is almost due. And I trust you would like to live to see your spring line as well. Oh. So these are obviously the villains because like, why would you not advocate for the end of child labor? Manipulated and molded like jello. Or cookie dough. Play dough. Any kind of dough. I'm like, what the heck? I mean, where in all of God's green goodness am I gonna find someone that beef headed? And then they're gonna show us the guy that's that beef headed. You're ridiculously good looking. Maybe you could do that for a career. Be professionally good looking. That's a good answer, actually. The teak was a lot softer. It's a little bit uh, more of a catalog look. I use it for footwear sometimes. He's not even that dumb. These are actually some pretty smart answers. Even though he, he looks dumb, though. <laughs> look, without Derek Zoolander, male modeling wouldn't be... Uh, not Trump! Magnum, can I see that? Are you kidding? I shouldn't even be talking about it. It's nowhere near ready. It's gonna be the same look. The style and the hair, you know, it's almost like the new afro for the white man, but it's beautiful. I love how they're using actual celebrities. How many ever digitals do you see modeling? Oh, I get that's a good question. On fashion awards. <laughs> that would be my, my main deterrent in, you know, considering a relationship. <laughs> This is crazy. Cancel. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, he actually look good. Oh, yeah, hate to see something like that at an event like this. Uh oh, oh. Ugly protesters bothering beautiful people. Mugato is not beautiful. He is pretty ugly. <laughs> this guy's gonna kill me. Get that right. How you doing, Steven? Lori Ball Steve. Balls models. Balls models is crazy. I gotta get inside. I'm stretching like a schmother with all these lights and fishy cats. I'm loving this. <laughs> what the heck? Wage increases for Malaysian garment workers. No, he has no comment. Why don't you let him speak for himself? Oh, excuse me. I hate paparazzi sometimes because they really think they matter. <laughs> Screw you and your little dog choke. Look out, you got an egg. <laughs> oh. oh. You consider me the best actor slash model and not the other way around. <laughs> they do not want to hear this boy be quiet. And an attitude that says, who cares? It's only fashion. That Hansel's so hot right now. Fashion is a big thing in this movie, I see, because uh, the only thing that's hot to me is his body. That fashion ain't it. I dig the bungee. I mean, for me, it's just the way I live my life. I grip it and I rip it. I'm talking about digging him. So I don't really listen to it, but the fact that he's making it, I respect that. I <laughs> Is it that serious? But I'm here, and I'm gonna give it my best shot. Okay. 
and five syllables. Dare. It zoom. Dare. Let me answer again. <laughs> Three time male model of the year, Derek Zoolander. Four time would be crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Cause he does not, in my opinion, he does not look better to me than Hansel, like. The award goes to Hansel. There we go, yep, I knew it. What are you doing? What is he doing? You know, a lot of people said winning this award four years in a row couldn't happen. Dude. Hey. Are you dumb? Okay, the fact you lost, but then also embarrassed yourself like that? It stings me like a fissure in my ass, but you're right. He's ready. Oh. In my opinion, he definitely should have won. Like, what's left to ponder? Woo! Nice comeback. Dang, don't even got a comeback. That's horrible. <laughs> and now you're all dirty. You're still a celebrity. You just lost. Oh, that's messed up. That's messed up. But I, didn't. I think it's worse because you embarrassed yourself. Like, why did? Why couldn't you just? I understand you thought you would win, but like they said, Hansel like eight times. <laughs> I started to cry. Oh, this song is so sad. I hear this song. Why is he walking like he's a model though? For real. Earth to Brent, I was making a joke. Uh, Earth to Mikis, duh, okay. I knew that. But then you ruined the joke. Well, I'm sure he's heard of styling gel. Like you didn't know it was a joke. <laughs> Are all models dumb? <laughs> what is happening here? Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really ridiculously good looking? No, they did it. <laughs> like helping people. Uh, Derek, what people? They're literally laughing in your face right now. Ooh. People who need help. <laughs> people who need help. Let's help people. They make them feel good about themselves. That's true. Orange mocha frappuccino. <laughs> uh uh. No, bro. This <laughs> I do not like the acting in this movie. This is so weird. I think what's more weird about it, it doesn't feel like they're talking. It feels like they're just there, and then someone is is voicing them behind them. Like I don't like. <laughs> That's not how it is when you have an orange mocha frappuccino. What is that? <laughs> what is happening? Wow. A model, idiot. Y'all are a little bit of idiots. I want to know why y'all are playing with gas. Yeah, y'all are pretty model idiots. A little bit, yeah. And when I say brother, I don't mean like an actual brother, but I mean it like the way black people use it. Oh, God. <laughs> we understood what you meant. Doesn't mean that we too can't not die in a freak gasoline fight accident. Yeah, no, they're looking at you like you're dumb. <laughs> are you serious? My retire. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. You do not show up to a funeral like that. That is so disrespectful. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to life than being really, really good looking. And I plan on finding out what that is. Wow. Look, y'all gave all the attention to that other dude. This guy just announced his retirement like... Thought you were gonna tell me what a bad Yagoogalizer I am. A Yagoogalizer? One who speaks at funerals? I don't think that's the word. Stupid to know what a Yagoogly was. Yagoogly. Fortunately for you, not too many people I know read your little Time magazine or whatever it's called. Actually, a lot of people read the Time magazine. Not interested. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got an after funeral party to attend. You were pretty rude to him at first, ma'am. Like, we could call it the Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good. Oh, Lord. Together. Look out! So she squeeze! Oh, Maury. So she squeezes crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. You couldn't turn left to save us. Now look at you. I can turn left. Yeah, right. Bro still did a whole right. Hey, you want to hear some great news? Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I was say, what's the great news? He can take a crap, wrap it in tinfoil, put a couple of fish hooks on it, and sell it to Queen Elizabeth as earrings. I guess you're not wrong. What do we do? 
when we fall off the horse. You get back up and get back on it, right? I mean, I'm guessing that's what he's trying to say. We get back on. Yeah, yeah. See, I knew it. I'm not stupid. Sorry, Maury. I'm not a gymnast. Huh? I need to get in touch with my roots. Figure out who I am. See you around, Maury. Mugatsu's not going to like that. You're going to have to figure it out. Coal mining country, southern New Jersey. That's where you're from. You're not going to like it there. A whole different world. You came in all them clo- Oh, Lord have mercy. Can't you even pretend to be happy to see me, Pop? I'm a coal miner, not a professional film or television actor. Dang, you're not happy to see me, though? Pop, wait. Please, give me a chance. I won't let you down, I promise. Yes, you will. You're such a liar. You're gonna leave in, like, the first two minutes. You know how hard that is? You may have to start looking for someone else. There is no one else. The show is in ten days, Ballstein. Uh-oh. He's talking about going off to ponder and tutoring underprivileged or some sh oh get him back we're running out of time i don't even understand what the whole goal or mission is with this kid but whatever <sighs> that's what i'm talking about what the hell watching. what the hell is he doing oh lord have mercy <laughs> Dude. Surprise! Dude, you've got to stop. What the hell's the matter with you? You've got to stop, please. You are not doing good. <laughs> Who's winning the match? Stay. <laughs> what the heck is that? Do you have to be such a girl? Oh, Lord. What the hell? not be able to take him serious that my hair looks better done up with gel and mousse than hidden under a stupid hat with a light on it oh lord what to do is make you proud of me pop with what your male modeling i don't understand what's wrong with that though where with your wiener hanging out for everyone to see i feel like you should be proud of him either way but like you're dead to me boy see that's crazy i just thank the lord she didn't live to see her son as a mermaid that's messed up because she probably would have been real proud of him <laughs> Man. Boy, just get out of here. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like your your father should not treat you that way. Your father should not sit here and say you're dead to me for no reason. That's so stupid, you know. But at the same time, you are pretty pathetic. I don't even blame him. <laughs> what the heck is a small little phone? I hope you finish touching your roots because Mugatu's making you an offer you won't believe. Hey man, you asked who you are. You got this call randomly. This is who you are, right? Are you not aware that I get farty and bloated with a foamy latte? My mistake, Jacqueline. What? <laughs> Why are you looking like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, Derek. What the heck is going on? <laughs> what the... Let's get back to the reason that we're really here. Why are you running like that? Oh, Lord have mercy. What is this? Oh, uh, you don't like it? Oh! Excuse me? What? It's just a model, bro. How can we be expected to teach children to learn how to read if they can't even fit inside the building? Oh my gosh. You got the perfect stupid. You got the perfect stupid man. Center has to be at least three times bigger than this. He's absolutely right. Uh, just play, just play, to your, play to your strengths, I guess. Shame on you how you picked on Derek Zuland in that story. Yeah. You want to hear an opinion? With a push-up bra, you could actually have a nice rack of lamb going on up there. Oh, there you go. That's an opinion. <laughs> this girl is picking and poking in the wrong spots. I just don't like paparazzi at all. It is a fashion, a way of life inspired by the very homeless. Derelict. Okay. The spirit of derelict. It'll be your glorious comeback. Sounds cool. Sounds cool. <laughs> She'll be your day to day on the campaign. Where did she come from? <laughs> so we're going to make him a hobo. Okay. Noted. So exclusive, no one knows about it. Our little secret, okay? This guy's literally so dumb that it's working. It's gonna work for him. Nothing. I've just been up for a few days putting together these background articles on Mugatu you asked for. Archie, go get some sleep. 
If you want to know more, go to Pier 12. Things aren't what they seem. Who the heck is this? Who the heck? It's designed for deep, deep relaxation. Come, let's get you loosened up. Oh lord, what is going on? What is this movie? It's so wild. <laughs> kind of spa, shoot. Kind of spa, I would probably enjoy it. I, don't know, I think I enjoy more looking at the spa than being in it. <laughs> Derek? Matilda, what are you doing here? Oh! Haven't you heard? I'm the new face of Mugatsu's derelict campaign. What is going on? <laughs> Why is it fighting back? <laughs> what the heck? It's private property. Nils! <laughs> okay, did you need to throw her out like that? Stay the hell away from Derek Zoolander. Excuse me. How do you feel, Derek? Um. Why are there so many fine women here? It's making it hard for me. And breathe deeply. What the heck? Hello, Derek. Welcome to your relaxation time. What is going on? Soothe you. Just a nice. I don't like him dancing, though. <laughs> Prime Minister Felicia, man! <laughs> I think the problem is it took like a whole crazy turn. Awful fast. In your little blue suit, your spiky black hair. Yeah. They just made this man a villain. Oh. Ow. Oh. Derek, are you in there? Hold your horses. They just made him a death machine and he's stupid. Earth to Matilda. I was at a day spa. Day. D A I Y E. Oh Lord, that's how you spell day? That's insane. How'd you turn three letters into five? I don't care what the date says. You have 12. Damn! That is a bit above average. <laughs> really? No matter how many friends you lose or people you leave dead and bloodied and dying along the way. Okay, that was a little too much of him, but honestly, he's actually right. You're putting your job before everything. That's kind of messed up. It pulls back the skin on your forehead, creating a tension which clogs the pores. Oh. What? Cool. Don't tell me they're gonna fall in love. That's gonna be so, like, are you kidding me? That would be absolutely ridiculous. I do not like Snoopy reporter with lack of fashion sense. Ma'am, I ain't gonna lie, you can't be talking about lack of fashion sense when your makeup look like that. All of Mr. Mugatu's models have a bad habit of dying young in freak accidents. What? She's in every single one of the images. Laid low for a while and then made your comeback. It was so courageous. Ma'am, I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> I'd really like to continue talking about this conversation when I come back. Talking about this conversation. His sentences are just outlandish. They're insane for no reason. Not yet. Gotta tame the beast before you let it out of its cage. Oh. You're excused. Oh, this is that one meme. <laughs> and I'm not your bruh. So I guess, uh, I guess you can dare lick my balls, Capitan. Oh. Disrespectful. You think you're too cool for school, but I got a news flash for you, Walter Cronkite. You gonna finish the comeback? You aren't. Oh, okay. That was the come. All right. <laughs> I was just waiting for him to finish the comeback. Like, what say we settle this on the runway? Han Solo. Oh. <laughs> These comebacks are crazy. He's a cool dude. He's trying to help you out. Oh yeah, that's a walk-off challenge, my friend. He tried to tell you. Ten minutes, old members only warehouse. You ought to remember that. You're a dinosaur. Bro, Billy try to help you, man. You're gonna get cooked. I heard some mad stories about this kid, man. He's limber, he's tooling. Put a cork in it, Zane. He's trying to help you. You want to see the real world of male modeling? The one they don't show you in magazines or the E channel? She really doesn't. The thinker. Thought you might want to know. Your boy Zoolander is rolling. It's a walk off. Oh Lord. Why is everyone talking about it like this is the biggest event in the world? It's a walk off. Like it's a rap battle or some weird stuff. <laughs> Girl's in the weird spot, weirdest spot ever. Like she don't look like none of these people. If nobody has any objections, I believe I might be of service. <laughs> Rest in peace, David Bowie, by the way. Let's do it. Right. What 
is happening? Come on, show them how it's done. Yeah. Okay, okay. That was pretty good. What? Are you <laughs> this is so goofy. This is ridiculous. <laughs> he better win. I'm not gonna lie. He's doing really good. Yeah, no, this guy's losing for sure. He's already losing his mind. Like, what? Yeah, no, you can't top that, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. You're, there's no way you're topping that. Yo, Derek. You're not a kid anymore. You can hurt yourself out there. This is ridiculous! <laughs> I can do this, Tyson. Dude, there's no way. And then why to go quiet? Why you cut the music off when I go down there? How is this even possible? Oh, disqualified. That's crazy. Derek, that's not true. The guy had to miraculously pull his underwear out of his butt just to beat you. True, he did, he did have to go all out to beat you. I mean, there have got to be some people out there just like you who can't turn. You can't even say it! <laughs> you can't even say it. We'll, we'll just say there's a lot of people out there who have issues. Listen, I'm going to take you to my apartment, okay? You can stay there until I get back. Can I come with? I don't want to be alone tonight. Just take him with you. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, maybe it's something that could save his life, you know? Pedro Schialfa died when he was 29. Dang. These are male actors, though. None of them ever made it past 30. I did. <laughs> what the hell? It's not important. Are you a ghost? Do I look like a ghost man? Fashion industry has been behind every major political assassination over the last 200 years. What? But who do you think made the powdered wigs and colored leg stockings worn by our country's early leaders? Mukatu. What? Slaves, Derek. <laughs> Mukatu. Kennedy had just put a trade embargo on Cuba, ostensibly halting the shipment of Cuban manufacturing. I kind of like how they kind of feed feeded this into like real life history. It was swept. Oh. I'll get oh. it, man. <sighs> Who? You're J.B. Pruitt, the world's greatest hand model. Once upon a time. And he, he encased that hand too, so he knows, so you don't damage it. Male models were genetically constructed to become assassins. They're in peak physical condition. True. Models don't think for themselves. They do as they're told. That is not true. You just proved. All right. Think about any photo shoot you've ever been on. Just proved you right. That's your single, Simpy. Dance, Derek, dance! Good point. That's messed up. <laughs> That's actually messed up. That's torture. You'll find that he sold his soul to the devil for a shot at the big time. But why male models? Derek, I just told you why you slow. You know what? Or did what? -y? And when it's over. What? There's an after party? No, man. They'll kill you. I've always been a fan of Blue Steel. And I hear Magnum's gonna blow us all away. Aww. Hang in there, JB. Ah! Bro. Said, hang in there and then stepped on his hand. Derek is so slow. You're telling me for a second there I thought someone was gonna be reading, are you googly? You all a dude, you're pissing me off. You googly. I hate Hansel. Hansel, Hansel. Everywhere I look, Hansel, Hansel, Hansel. Well, there it is. There's a place you gotta go. <laughs> He'll never look for you there. Derek has been brainwashed to kill the prime minister of Malaysia. And? <sighs> Talk about some and. Do this whole thing out, Derek said that this would probably be the last place anyone would look for him. Obviously, he hates Hansa. But first, me and him gotta straighten some shit out. Fine. Why have you been acting so messed up towards me? That's what you have to straighten out? But like a little threatened or something, because your career is kind of just blossoming and mine's kind of winding down. Or I love that. That's a perfect way to explain it. This guy's really hurting me. And it hurt. Oh god, two dummies in one room. Maybe this isn't where we should stay. Yeah, you're Derek Zoolander. You know what it's like to be another model and be in Derek Zoolander's shadow? Facts, I'm glad y'all could be honest with each other. International mail catalog. I didn't want to be a model. I 
freaking worship you, man. <laughs> what the heck? I'm sorry I was whack. Look at that. I feel like this is like a way to resolve majority of the problems in today's real world. Just talk to each other. <laughs> we got Buzzy Sullivan, big wave surfer from Mavericks. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Derek and Matilda are in hiding because some dudes brainwashed Derek off the Prime Minister of Micronesia. Micronesia. <laughs> funny. Will you get some of that tea that me and Lopsang got when we were free climbing the Mayan ruins? Okay, let go. I love how relaxed it is in here. It's a little too hippie-like, you know? From that article I read, it seems like you don't really care too much about guys in our line of work. Mmm. Mmm. I modeled it or dirty. That's what it is. Stupid and incredibly self-centered. But how do you feel about male models? Oh, sweet. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> What's the dealio, yo? Because you're not telling us the whole story. There's something else. No, I'm telling you, some guy, some guy broke her heart. For sure. When I was in seventh grade, I was the fat kid in my class. Ew. Mm. Oh. Excuse me. Let her finish the story. No, 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 no. Do, 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 be cool, Sarah. Come on. I'm sorry. Please go ahead. My mistake. Come on, ew. You're such a a-hole. Uh, I couldn't understand why I didn't look like them. I, I just didn't get it. So you hated them. I became bulimic. They don't you even know what that means. Mine. Oh my God. They don't even know what that means. Throw up after every meal. This is exactly what you models do to people. You make them feel bad about Okay, hold on. Let me pause real quick. I, I, I didn't want to pause, but I, I did because I want to say something real quick. This is the messed up part about modeling, right? Models think when they're doing it, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm making people feel good about themselves. I'm making people know that you can love yourself in your own skin. But in reality, in society, the truth is models make you feel really sh and I could speak from experience. I've said it countless times on the channel. I was I was the fat girl. I gained a lot of weight. I didn't ever have the perfect body that I wanted, the hips that I wanted, and all that stuff. So while models are sitting here thinking they're making people feel good about themselves and, and knowing they could love themselves no matter what, in reality, you're basically building insecurities with these people. They're looking at you and they're like, God, I want this body, but it's so hard to achieve. Why can I look as pretty as her? Why can I be as skinny as her? Whatever. And I, I think it's not just with the skinny model because even nowadays a lot of fat models get put on showcase and with the fat models it's like they're trying to make big people feel better about themselves but now you're telling them it's okay to be fat so it's kind of unhealthy you understand what i'm trying to say like i'm not talking about the people who are naturally big i'm talking about eating too much being unhealthy not working out that kind of unhealthy so i feel like modeling in a whole as a job is just really really toxic for society um it's good for the models obviously because they look good they feel good about themselves but even some models don't feel good about themselves even some models hate their body to the point they're like god i just want to just eat and not have to throw up or have to you know drink these these things every single day like i don't know i feel like the modeling industry in itself is very toxic you guys don't like my rants for the ones that be saying they don't like my rants oh! that's another one for you because i don't care this is my channel i'm gonna talk about what i want anyways i throw up after lots of meals so do i it's a great way to lose pounds before a show yeah see like there's two Two sides there's two sides to this modeling thing you know what I'm not gonna sit here with both of you and discuss my sex life or lack thereof, yeah. lack thereof. <laughs> I knew she was gonna say that done, done it in a while yeah okay once a while like eight days man sir like eight years <laughs> oh, try a couple years Oh, snap! Sometimes it's so hard for guys to understand that because they can get it anytime they want for it. <laughs> it's been an emotional day for all of us. I think we should get naked. What the? <laughs> I mean, I guess it'll keep you soothed, right? T is going to be a little too powerful. But I think it's, it's good to understand that there's two sides to modeling, you know? They gonna do a threesome? Oh my god! What the f- Where did this guy come from? What is happening? What the heck? 
Yeah. Haven't you been smoking peyote for six straight days? Couldn't some of this maybe be in your mind? And? It wasn't his mind. It was. I was gonna say this man was definitely falling. Who's that? Who's this? I think I'm falling for Matilda Hansen. Oh. There was a moment last night when she was sandwiched between the two Finnish dwarves and the Maori tribes. What the heck? <laughs> wow. I could really spend the rest of my life with this woman. This is the this is the worst love story in the world. <laughs> Derek is dead unless we get that evidence. Do you guys... Whoa, whoa, easy. How about a good afternoon? Good evening? What the heck? Y'all let her sleep all day. Derek, I thought I told you to turn off your phone. Turn off my phone? Mm -hmm. Can we just cut it out with all the Earth twos? We're not actually saying this is the Earth calling you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These dudes literally have an ounce of a brain cell. It's painful. Reach outer space aliens or something, okay? <laughs> Hello. A joke. A joke. <laughs> These dudes are ridiculous. They'll be looking for us at Maury's, right? But they won't be looking for... Hansel? Not us. Hansel. He was talking loco, and I like it. <laughs> I mean, you could have just sent in Hansel, though. Like, he's a model that they're not looking for. What the heck? There's no way that's them, right? There's just no way that's them. We hear you loud and clear. Listen, Matil. What? There's no way that's them. Good looking people like us made you grow up and feel bad about yourself. You're serious. What the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> what is going on? He invented the piano key necktie in 1985. The guy's been a fashion designer ever since. Okay. Ew. Here, use one of these. I don't think so. So we just gotta ignore the blackface? Okay. He will show. Good. Because I'm a hot little potato right now. Hot little potato. Must be an on button somewhere. Press the app. Oh god. Are y'all serious? Are y'all serious? What the heck? Why are you acting like that? No, we're not gonna ignore this. A black face plus some monkey sounds is crazy. Hold on to it until you get back. Go! Go! Y'all are horrible. Can y'all just figure out how to turn on the dang computer? And starring in that show, veteran supermodel Derek Zoolander. This dude is so tired of his son. No, he didn't have it. What are you talking about? He always has it. He gave it to me. <laughs> he gave it to me. <laughs> We're running out of time, Hansel. You gotta find them and meet me at the show. Roger. Oh, Lord, talking about their in computer. Oh, God. You know these dudes are, are slow. Why do you keep entertaining them? The last thing I need to do right now is relax. That's it. What? What did you just figure out? All you said was relax. I just want to wish you uh, good luck. Don't you mean goodbye? What are you talking about? Oh. I know it was you, Maury. I know it was you. And it breaks my heart. What was Maury? I don't know what you're talking, Derek. I'm. He's sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So he definitely knows what you're talking about. I'm glad you could join us, Kmart. <laughs> Lucky for you, there is no dress code. You need to stop calling her Kmart. I thought she still looked pretty good. Shoot, that actually looks pretty nice. For a bunch of trash. Derek Zuland will be dead. You'll be fine. You always are. Come on, Derek, you're off. And he's not gonna be fine. The trigger is Oh. What the heck? Oh, hell no. Pop and lock and fool. What the heck? They're breakdance fighting. Breakdance fighting is insane. <laughs> Oh Lord, poor Derek. Oh. Oh. They're like, what is going on? <laughs> Good job, Hansel. Oh, that's messed up. Come on, come on, come on. You got to the. He tried to brainwash Derek to kill the claymation dude. Malaysia. Oh Lord, have mercy. Damn. 
Thank you for doing that. Taste my pain. What? <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> and then I got it at JC Penny on sale. Mm. <laughs> Not on sale. Everything they're saying is true. I've been in on it for 30 years. What are you doing, Ballstein? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I got two words for you, sugar. Zip disc. Mm-hmm. I need you to bring that zip disc in the den down to the fashion show. I don't care what the traffic is like. Sir. <laughs> and I'll heat it up in the microwave when I get home. For Christ's sake, it's a casserole, Sheila. It'll stay. Sheila, please. Blue steel? Ferrari? Latigra? They're the same face! Ooh. Anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! He's the only smart one in the entire world, apparently. One look! I don't think so! <laughs> oh! He turned to the right! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! Magnum! It's beautiful. It looks like the exact same face, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I guess that's just me. <laughs> that's my kid. Now that's your son? Now that's your son? I'm so proud of him, though, for uh Derek, you did it. That was amazing. I know. I turned left. Yeah, that too. I mean, left, not right. I said right when he did it. Prime River Propatia. All right, bro. <laughs> she really gonna be with this dumb Emma. <laughs> hey, man, that's what she want. Can we complain? What the heck? And a professional human being. Our diverse faculty includes business management teacher. What are you gonna do? Screw it! Open up for more! Dang! <laughs> Now you're supposed to be teaching kids. I'm gonna take these kids over the George Washington Bridge. Give them a little lesson in base jumping. Um, I think not. That's pretty dangerous. All right, guys. Last one. The helicopter's right next. Let's go. Yeah. Uh uh. This is so dangerous. Hey, Matilda. There's Daddy. Hey. Daddy. Not you had a kid. You wanna show Daddy your love, Dad Junior? <gasps> oh. That's crazy. <laughs> For story hour. Great. <laughs> That's crazy. Aww. Dude, this is actually. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna say what I feel at the end. Okay, let me see. This was directed by Ben Stiller, too. That's crazy. That is the end of the movie, guys. Couple of things I want to say about this movie. Very weird. <laughs> Very weird comedy. I wouldn't entirely say it's my type of comedy. I'm probably gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for that alone. Comedy was just really awkward. But I am gonna knock it down to a 6 out of 10 as well because I don't feel like the story itself held too much weight. The movie wasn't bad. Obviously, I was still laughing. Like you guys always love to say, a comedy does its job if it makes you laugh. I was still laughing. I really, really love the end. Super sweet that they had a little baby together, you know? But I just think like the kind of funny he was just wasn't funny to me. It just wasn't my kind of movie. I can see why other people would like it. But for me, I'm gonna have to label this movie a six out of 10, maybe even a five out of 10. I don't wanna even give it that low of a rating because it's not a super bad movie. It's just not my kind of movie, if that makes sense. So yeah, five out of 10, six out of 10 around there. That's just how I feel about it. But I still hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And this has been MJ and Don't Ask About Spider-Man. Peace. Stop, 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 stop.